We're packed in a car. Look at us. Good afternoon, everybody. Look at Eve has a cooler. Eve, James has a cooler <laughs> next to him. <laughs> Our room is ready at Saratoga Springs. It is 3 p.m. We've oh. had quite the day. Yes. Sarah saw Katie Vining. That's who's watching Eve. Um, Peter got a lot of work done. Got a lot of work done. I went to Target and got all the things. The snacks. I saw some of the snacks. So this is vacation mode. This is vacation mode. I can't wait. Here's our room. Look at this this workhorse right here of a donkey. I have to go back and get the rest of the stuff, but it's a beautiful unit. Tub, give Jamesy Boy a bath later with some waterfall action. Classic bathroom. Love it. This kitchen, I don't know why, but I'm obsessed with it. Hey, someone woke up from a nap in a Disney World Resort. Boom. Bom 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 bom. Bom 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 bom. He's the creepiest kid in town. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this kitchenette. Yeah, for a studio, I don't know, it's fancy. It's got so much storage. Storage, 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 storage. Little storage, still great. Storage down there. We got a big kid in a fancy bed. And a closet. Look at, there's two closets in this joint. Hey. Do you want to show them the Murphy? Sure. Look at this, comfy couch. Oh wait. What up, Horus? Do you hear Hercules? Yeah, you love it here? Oh gosh. And of course, beautiful, 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 beautiful first floor balcony. Look at this. I can't wait to be up there in like 15, 20 minutes. I have to go get the rest of the stuff in the car. So we're unpacking, and we, our remote wasn't working, so we had to call get a different one. We went to the Must Do Disney Channel. It's a voiceover. It's the same footage. This is the Stacy footage with the new voiceover. Oh no. What, Sarah? All right, let's just watch the loop, and then we'll. We'll tweet at Stacy and cry. Also, James has been a big kid just playing with his tags, you know? He's just been a big kid playing with his tags. This room has so much storage, and I've never seen a room with as many outlets and charging spots. They've now shown Batu, Slinky, Mickey Mini Runaway Railways, along with this new voiceover. Friends, they've officially done it. This seems legitimate. There's brand new graphics design for transitional pieces. Watch. Oh. Stacy. I mean, this is really cool and great, and I'm glad they have it. Long live Stacy. See? This this is a brand new graphic. <laughs> How come there's an internet outrage about this? We care about noodles, but we don't care about Stacy. All right, we've had some snacks. I will say. Um, it was the longest it's ever taken for us to unpack, but we are like, this is also the most amount of stuff we've ever brought on a trip. Hey, me here, Peter. We got one stroller. We got carriers. Second carrier, or second stroller. We got bathroom stuff. We're drying stuff from the rain the other day. We got a stacked fridge. We got a sweet, look at these sweet kids. Look at them being so cute. We don't know what we're doing tonight. We're hanging on the balcony right now. Maybe we'll go swimming, maybe we'll go to Epcot, maybe we'll just run around. A 
enchanté. Um, <laughs> excuse me? He didn't even make it to the Phoenicians. <laughs> <laughs> He's got some, some training to do. Yeah. Sleepy kid. We are meeting up with our friends Kayla and Karen, and I think family. Yeah. We um, haven't seen them since pre-COVID, right? Yeah, wow. because we would see them when we were here and they couldn't travel. Um, so that's super exciting. And then I think, like, our we don't really have other plans besides get dinner. And dinner is going to happen at... San Eagle. Yeah. We've only eaten there once before and we were 100% plant based then. Yeah. So we're gonna sauce have some barbecue. There's so many good sauces there. We have ventured into the World Showcase, met up with our friends there. Awesome. Love, I've always loved the butterfly garden. They were like all at the end. I know, but they were all like getting ready to sleep. But then yeah. there was a lot that were like row with their chrysalises like when they weren't Yeah, to it was cool. Well, first of all, thank you Anne and your family from outside of Philly for saying hi. It was yeah. wonderful talking awesome. to you. Nice. It's those messages, like you guys have given us wonderful messages, especially during the, our trying times, but for them to like express how we helped them get through the weird last year yeah. means and the it, world. And it goes both ways, so it's just really nice to express that like in person to a face. Bittersweet news right now. Mm -hmm. The bitter part, Japan is closed yeah. already. Well, just the, the store. Yeah, yeah, but we missed it the other day too, so we'll have to, we really have to really make a point to come back yeah. to it. The sweet part, we're going to mumble order some uh, Sam Eagle. I think we need that watermelon cup. Ooh. A nice little stroll in here while our food is prepared. So stinking cute. So stinking cute. So stinking cute. <gasps> Look who woke up. Someone said there's food. Our food is ready. <gasps> Doesn't that look good? <laughs> the best thing about this, we get to fill up our own Coke and drink a million. <gasps> you like that toast? James Boyce tried pickles, and he's having toast. He actually, pickles were something he tried when we weren't vlogging, and he loves them. Loves them, loves them. So we got a side of pickles. Peter got the barbecue burger. It has some barbecued pork on it with beans and burnt ends. And then I got the brisket on Texas toast with fries. And we started with Coke's. <laughs> he likes Texas toast. He is your child. Oh, he does? Great. Yeah. I give that a rip roaring two thumbs up with the additional two baby thumbs up. What do you think? You have some, you have some fried onion, you have some pickles, with some french fries, some sauces. Ready to finish what this loop? My kicker, maybe Dr. Pepper. They don't have Dr. Pepper. Maybe root beer. What are you gonna get? Oh. If you ever come to San Miguel, make sure you look at this wall and look at all the tchotchkes and, and awards on the wall because they are amazing and they're all for all the different sauces. Is this not the quintessential perfect Epcot night? Yeah, it really is. It really is so good for our hearts and souls. Like, on one hand, I feel like we can be here and after losing my mom, it's like, it, it brings you to your happy place. Like, you're not thinking about things constantly. But at the same time, like, I have so many memories with my family and parents and just being here, like, it also is, it's really, it's, it's really good. And then there's also like emotional moments yeah. too, for sure. But 
You're sitting here nursing your baby? Right. On this bench with yeah. a breeze? Exactly what she would like what she'd want. We just passed by this the other day, but now we're exploring. New gelato shop. Is this the new Instagram picture place to be? My ground. Here's a little menu. Oh, smoothie. Beer and wine. Were we wrong? Oh, no. No, here. Gelat. Waffle cone. Floats. Yum. Do you think that Streganona's pot was there? What if this is where she's going to do her jig? Yeah. Next Christmas season. No, that's not Streganona. Oh. They got cute pizza ears. But no, no balsamic. Wow, James is like big enough to be mesmerized by the fountain in, in Italy. You want to go in? You want to go in? <laughs> Park is near close. Ooh, I feel drizzles. Drizzles, drizzles. Park closes in 15, but Sarah has donned upon herself a baby on a carrier. Figure it'll be best for the bus. Yeah. Just in case he falls asleep, then we won't have to transfer him. Right. We're trying to get hold of this, like how to be a theme parker with the buses and not just our cars. Right. And also, like when we lived here, he was much tinier. Yeah. He's got opinions. He does, and he's got wants and needs. James has uh, fallen in love with plush walls. We might be bringing home a toddler Elsa plush back to Chicago. He's loving it. He also has some very sleepy eyes. Oh, gosh. Such a good day. Olaf? There was just a spark of firework. From the lagoon. Guys. World Showcase Lagoon. Fireworks are back at Disney. Like, Four or five days after we leave. And we've been seeing lights over by Fantasmic. And we just heard a firework and saw it come from the World Shook Lagoon. Shook Lagoon. Shook Lagoon. We're heading out. I feel like it's gonna pour. It is. So we were, gonna, we were hoping to go swimming when we got back to the resort. But you know, we're just gonna flip through all the resort channels and watch every single loop a hundred times. And try not to think about Stacy. Try not to think about Stacy. Or Stacey. watch on YouTube. Yeah. We're gonna have some snacks. Yeah. Sarah's gonna edit. We're gonna hang out with James. Yeah. And it's just gonna be a really, really great time. Sure. I don't think we're putting the vlog the other night when we were here. The really big appreciation shout out to the new like entrance soundtrack. All I said was, "What is this music?" But, but now we realize. It's like very heroic and very natural. Yeah. I feel like it's like it goes through a loop of like the different meanings of Epcot. Yeah. And it's just. It's just our own interpretation. It's just great. Well, we're back at the resort and this baby is still awake. We made some friends from Long Island. A couple of them said Brooklyn. Oh, really? Staten Island. They were seniors in high school. I know, and I don't know what high school is letting them kids roll around, staying also at a DVC. But that was a good, it sounded like a good time. Like, I wanted to hang out. Yeah, yeah. They loved, and they were like asking what his name was. They were like trying to get his attention. Yeah. What do you do at 10 after midnight when your baby's having a hard time falling asleep? And you're at Disney World? You strap him in a stroller and go for a walk around Saratoga Springs. And approximately two and a half minutes later, walking across this big old bridge, he has fallen asleep. So I'm actually gonna take a little stroll. Gonna go take a gander at Disney Springs. Check out, this is a three bedroom grand villa. It's two floors. Um, I'm gonna go check out Disney Springs, just say hey. And then I'll head back to our room. Sarah's editing right now, so kind of gives her time to work on that. Pretty fun thing to do when your baby is having trouble falling asleep. So just put him in the stroll and get to walk around the Disney Resort. And that, that is not lost on my mind. Especially when you can just go for a little stroll and check out Disney Springs behind me. I don't think we're going back there until Sunday, which is Father's Day. And we have a fun brunch planned. Um, then I think we'll end up probably going there. You know, maybe we'll end up going there Saturday. I'm not sure. Because we've got um, one of their sisters is showing up Saturday, one showing up Sunday, and they uh, usually like to start their vacations at Disney Springs. So 
we're just kind of going with the flow, but it's very quiet and calm, a little breezy. It's strange, but very cool to see Disney Springs like this. 12.40 in the morning. Sometimes that's just how you get to go to sleep. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.